The 1965 quarter holds value due to its transition from silver to clad composition. Before 1965, quarters contained silver, but that changed with the Coinage Act of 1965, which introduced quarters made of copper and nickel. However, some 1965 quarters were mistakenly struck on silver planchets, making them rare and valuable collectibles. The design of the 1965 quarter remained the same as previous years, featuring George Washington on the obverse and a bald eagle on the reverse. While not all 1965 quarters are valuable, those struck on silver planchets are highly sought after by collectors. Only a small percentage of these error coins exist, making them rare and valuable. Using the Sheldon scale system, the value of a 1965 quarter depends on its condition, with mint state coins being more valuable. While circulated 1965 quarters may only be worth up to 85 cents, Mint State versions can fetch up to $5,250. Identifying a silver 1965 quarter involves comparing it to standard clad quarters. Silver quarters will have different colors and weights, producing a distinct sound when dropped. Aside from silver quarters, other valuable 1965 error coins include off-center, double tail, different modules, broad struck, and struck through varieties. Collecting valuable 1965 quarters can be done by exploring old coin collections, searching family jars, and attending coin auctions. Uncirculated quarters are more desirable for collectors, and assembling a complete set of Washington quarters can be rewarding. Overall, 1965 quarters hold value for collectors, especially those with silver content. At the U.S. Gold Bureau, we pride ourselves on guiding you through these intricate choices to ensure your investments align with your financial goals. Our commitment to integrity and education empowers you to make informed decisions. Call us at 855-3873793 for a free consultation.